it's a real honor to be on this panel. Um, it's just been fabulous all the music and the good words. Um, my spirit name on this territory is No Pini Nagano, and that means Song of the Forest. I take that name very seriously. And my music, I, I use the name Vela. That's actually my capoeira name. Uh, capoeira is a Brazilian martial art, and I earned that name through a lot of suffering, a lot of grief, and it means candle. And that's what I want my music to be, is like a candle to offer warmth and light to others. So that's, that's part of my purpose with my music. Um, so I have only like, really a short amount of time. So the, I decided to just talk about two things. So I'm obviously a settler ally. Um, my background is Scottish and British. I've been living in Ottawa off and on since I was about one. I was in Guyana, South America before that. Um, and so the first thing I'm going to speak about is what are our responsibilities as settler allies. And I don't have very long, so if this is too quick, um, you can look on freethefalls.ca, but the first person I'm going to refer to is actually Dr. Lynn Gell. Uh, she's Anishinaabe Kwe, and she has a lot of resources for settler allies about being a good ally. And it's very provocative when you read it, and rather demanding. And so I really suggest you start there. And it doesn't matter if you don't agree with it all, that's fine. Because you have to decide for yourself what your responsibilities are. Um, but you also have to be willing to keep learning because you're going to change with what you learn. So it may change your behavior over time the more you go. It's, it's a journey to become a really good ally. Um, and so one thing, so there's just a few, few quick points. Like guilt is useless, that's paralyzing. What our ancestors did as settlers was horrible. But if we fall into guilt today, then we're not going to be able to take action to make things right. So when we realize that we're benefiting unjustly from what happened in the past, we need to step up and take action to change that so that everyone has a good life. Um, and you know, it's just like, uh, that, that I'm sure you've all heard this saying, you know, if you're here to help me, you're wasting your time. If you're here because you know that your liberation is bound up in my own, then let's work together. I think that's a really good thing to keep in mind when you're trying to be a good ally. Um, my friend Matt Brown has written a lot about this, um, and I'm going to very grossly summarize what he's written to show up, shut up, and stick around. <laughs> so what that means is, you know, obviously you have to show up and be willing to take action and be an ally, but you need to listen. There's so much to learn. You can't just go into a community and, and, uh, and want to take action right away because you don't know the dynamics, you don't know the people. And by, by sticking around, that means build relationships. You really need to build relationships with indigenous people if you're going to make a difference. Um, the other thing I, I was thinking uh, just while I was sitting there, and, and uh, Michael was talking about this, is that like you need to really assess the impact your actions are having. So when I think of what, what's happening with windmill development, and, and Energy Ottawa as well, we've got to keep in mind that like, windmills trying to take over the islands, and Energy Ottawa is trying to further imprison the falls. And what that's doing, especially windmill, is it's causing more division in the Anishinaabe, the Algonquin communities. Now, if that were me, and though my actions were having that impact, I don't pray or hope I'd have the backbone. I know I'd have the backbone to back off. Back way the hell off. And let the indigenous communities sort it out for themselves. So that's one thing. Um, and so one idea that I was asked to talk about specifically is um, Frame the Falls and it's uh, the Frame Show Deer Falls and its Islands, which is the group that I'm a part of, has a new uh, hashtag we're promoting called Move ZB. So we feel this is a real win win situation. Um, the Breton Flats needs to be developed. It turns out that Windmill Development, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Windmill Development is actually part of uh, Rendezvous Group Consortium, which is one of only two groups to put their bids in on time for developing the Brenton Flats. So we're arguing that they could just move ZB over there. Yes. And then all of the good things that would happen to the communities that want to work with, with Windmill, it still happen, there's still be jobs for Algonquins, uh, signage in Algonquin. It would be by the Pimsey uh, Light Rail Station, which is Pimsey and Eel in Algonquin. So again, like these green condo owners would be closer to public transport. Public transport, so that's great. Um, so that's an example of a win-win situation. Then the last thing I'm going to talk about before I sing um, is what are our duties as human beings? And this has been, people have touched on this already. Um, we're all human. We are all connected to the land and the water and the air and the sun and the fire. You don't need a shaman or an elder or an imam or a priest 
to mediate your relationship to the land. Because you're a human being in this, yeah. <laughs> um, as Theta Phoenix puts it, you know, we all bleed red blood, we all have salty tears. So you need to connect, you know, we talk about like a connected world, and that's like internet bullshit, right? What we really need to do is connect to the land and water, however that is meaningful for you. Maybe you can reach out to your ancestors, maybe you can talk to elders in your own community and connect with the water, uh, connect with the land, and then listen. You know, and listen without ego, like listen without interpreting it as a human. Listen to what the <coughs> land and the water really wants. And that's what the song I'm about to sing is about. Um, and then <coughs> act on it, or don't act. Because you may get a message to act or to not act, and both are very important. And the, the question really is, like, you can keep asking, like, what can I co-create with this, this kitchen system? <coughs> what can I co-create with Akikojiman, with the waterfall, with Asanapa, this sacred area? Um, and then finally, just like having to build relationships with each other and with communities, you need to build a relationship with the land that you're on. Whether you came here because you wanted to, or because you were forced here, or because you've been here since time immemorial, you're here now. So to build a relationship with the land, I really like, um, John Young has this concept of a steady spot. So you go to the same spot every day, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. You know, the animals change when you're there long enough. Their behavior changes. We think of animals as like kind of flitting away and scared. They're not like that when you're there long enough and you drop into their language. So that's a possibility for all of us to do, even if you only have a park. I'm really lucky. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the kitchen seat. I'm in Britannia by Mud Lake. So I go there all the time, and it's really beautiful. But even if you have a city park, you can do that. Um, and so now I'm going to sing my song, because I, I know we don't have very much time. Um, and I just want to acknowledge, like, this is this is the Phil Oaks Festival, and I am, like, the biggest Phil Oaks fan ever. I grew up on his music. Um, I'm kind of I'm kind of disappointed I won't get to sing any of his songs this time around. It just didn't work out, but I will have another opportunity later. But in a way, by singing this song to you, I'm actually honoring and, like, this tribute to him, because he has such a big influence on me and the fact that I tend to write songs about issues instead of, like, love songs. <laughs> love songs are great, but not too many of them. Um, but my, I think my, the way I do things is probably be a, a little bit different than his, because with this song, which is called Reconciliation River, I, you know, we, we've been blocked from the Chaudière Falls, or the, the dam covering Chaudière Falls, but I found this place where I can climb down <laughs> by the bridge, um, and I can, I, and I can actually like be there. Uh, you just have to get through some bars and stuff like that. Yeah. There's no like, there's like no no trespassing sign or anything. So I haven't been arrested yet, uh, and no one molests me while I'm down there. And and I can just see the overflow. And so that's where I went, and I and I went and I asked like, is there a song? Do you have a song for me? So this song, um, it's not from me, like the little ego that wrote it, right? Like this comes from the river and falls. And that's why you, you'll hear that the voice shift a little bit in it to be the voice of the river. Um, and so I'm really honored to carry this song. I don't own it. I, don't, I believe songs have spirit. And so this song, I don't even know what she's going to do in the world necessarily. Maybe other people are going to sing this song. All I had to do, or my duty, my responsibility was to bring the song into form. And so every time I sing it, today I'm going to sing it just my voice, just like, I was, like it was given to me originally. Um, yeah, so thank you very much. And often people want to clap when they hear songs. Um, you don't have to do that. You know, this is my prayer, honestly. So if you want to clap, that's great. If you even want to put your hand to your heart or just be silent, I won't be offended. You know, music has many, many purposes. Thank you. Come back where the waters roar. Come back where our spirits soar. Honor the waters and A sacred space once more. Come back to the place you used to know. Come back to where our spirits grow. There's another way. I asked the river what she wanted to say. I want you to connect. I want you to remember when you knew you were part 
Of all I've joined together, I gave you my heart. Where the waters roar, I gave you my trust. Will you honor me once more? I am not dead. Don't cover me with concrete. I need the green islands where the four elements meet. The river spoke to me. Does she speak to you? This future can be ours. There's loving work to do. Will we act, be reconciliation with each other and all our relations? Reconciliation with all our relations. Reconciliation for future generations. Reconciliation, conciliation too, cannot be empty words. Action makes it true. Elders have a vision to heal our nation's heart. Show your falls and islands. Are you ready to start? Ready to start. Ready with heart to do your part. Make a place to heal, a place to share, to connect, a place to care. Will we act, be reconciliation with each other and all our relations? Reconciliation with all our relations. Reconciliation for future generations. The river spoke to me. Does she speak to you? This vision can be ours. There's loving work to do. Loving work to do. Loving work to do. Thank you. Thank you.